Greetings, nerdlings. Today, we're going to be discussing secondary succession. Previously, we discussed primary succession and what ecological succession was. So, at the end of our previous lecture, we ended talking about climax communities. We had desert climax communities, a coniferous forest climax community, as well as a tropical rainforest. But, insert ominous music, what if? Forest fire, volcano, avalanche, deforestation. Basically, threats to climax communities include forest fires, human building cities and roads, flooding, volcanic eruptions, clearing a community for agricultural purposes so we can grow wheat or corn. Anything that destroys the existing community, but much of the soil remains. So sometimes, some of the organisms actually remain as well. So again, some of the things that can drastically affect a climax community uh, would be invasive plants or other invasive species. This is something that has occurred lately, and one of the reasons is because we have so much travel going on. We're flying from one country to the next. We have giant ships taking on ballast water in one environment and then emptying their ballast water in the next. And they're basically introducing species to other environments that shouldn't be there. And those species, a lot of the time, become very, very invasive, and they affect the local ecology. So invasive plants are species that have been characterized as catastrophic wildfires in slow motions. Thousands of non-native invasive plants have infested millions of acres of land and water across the nation. These invaders can cause massive disruptions in ecosystems by reducing the biodiversity and degrading the health of our nation's forests, prairies, mountains, wetlands, rivers, and oceans. They have the capacity to dominate, overwhelm, or wipe out native species. And the financial impact of invasive species infestations in the United States has become estimated at $138 billion per year. So that's a lot of cost and a lot of damage that are caused by invasive species. And again, invasive species aren't only plants. We have a lot of carp starting to invade some of the Great Lakes. We have mussels that have invaded New Zealand. So there are a lot of different types of invasive species that affect environments that they go into. And again, human development. We are responsible for, unfortunately, a lot of the devastation that takes place on this earth. And one of the biggest things we do is cut trees down. So all the deforestation that occurs, we are changing different types of ecosystems and environments. So secondary succession. Again, secondary succession starts after some type of either natural or man-made disaster. And we are left with a layer of soil, unlike primary succession when there is no layer of soil. So here we have our happy little ecosystem with our trees and our plants and then poof, forest fire. Uh, fire burns and it basically kills everything off except the soil. Now in the soil we still have seedlings and that type of thing that remain. So we start having little grasses and shrubs start to grow. We have small seedlings or sapling trees start to grow. They'll eventually get larger and larger until we reach another climax community. So organisms, again, are destroyed, but the soil is, is left intact. It remains safe. And the soil already contains the seeds of weeds and grasses and trees. More seeds are then carried to the area by wind or birds or other sources. And succession begins again, but the primary species might be different. Because the soil is present, the succession occurs much faster because we don't have to create soil. The soil already exists. So here's our phases of ecological succession after a natural disaster has occurred. So we have a fire, and then at zero years we basically just have the soil left with our seedlings. Uh, we have annual plants start to form, such as grasses, maybe some wildflowers. We have more grasses and perennials that start to form. Then we have our grasses, shrubs, our small pine trees, very young saplings of hickory and oak and maple trees start. And eventually, we get our mature climax community, which includes our pine trees as well as our hard trees, such as oak and hickory. 
So secondary succession on an abandoned cornfield, this is another example. So this would be after agricultural farming, they basically left that soil alone. So you start to see a lot of grasses that are colonizing right here, uh, more and more grasses, some wildflowers. Then we start to get some shrubs and our small trees. And eventually we have an environment similar to the one that's surrounding it with our full grown trees. So in secondary succession, again, we start off with soil, and then some of the seeds in the soil begin to grow. The larger shrubs start to move in. And then we have our fast growing trees, such as pine trees that start growing and they move in. And these are followed by much slower growing hardwood trees, such as those maple trees and the oak trees and the beech trees. So eventually, you're going to have a climax community. So we started off with our weeds and our grasses, uh, our smaller trees like the pine trees that grow much quicker than the hardwood trees. Then we have a young pine forest and eventually we'll have a mature hardwood forest which incorporates the pine trees into it as well. So again, we have our fire and then we have our grasses, then our shrubs, then our smaller, quicker growing trees such as the pine trees and our mature climax community. So and again, a climax community is a stable group of plants and animals that is the end result of the succession process. And it does not always mean that big trees are the end game. So you know, as, as I've showed you before, the pictures of different climax communities. We have desert climax communities where we have lots of sand and cacti. We have our savanna climax community, we have rainforests, we have coniferous forests, we have marine. Uh, so there are all kinds of different types of climax communities. They're not all going to result in a huge forest. Well, I hope that was helpful and I will see you guys next time.